Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're testing the new model released by Meta, Llama 3.3 to 70 billion parameter model. This is Meta's latest state-of-the-art multilingual large language model. It's pre-trained, instruction-tuned, and optimized for dialogue use cases. Interestingly, it offers similar performance to the much larger Llama 3.1 which has 405 billion parameters. It's a text-in-text-out model designed to outperform many of the open source and closed chat models on common industry benchmarks. Now, let's dive into the tests. We're starting with the coding tests. First, we're asking the model to create a Python code that allows us to upload a WAV file and convert it to MP3. Let's see how it performs. The code runs perfectly, so that's a pass. Moving on to the next question. We're asking it to write code for a calculator with all the buttons and functionalities. Let's test it out. And yes, it's a fully functional calculator. It works great, so that's another pass. Next up, we're challenging the model to create the classic snake game in Python. Testing the code now, and it's working perfectly. It even tracks the score and handles everything smoothly. This is definitely a pass. For the next task, we're asking it to write HTML code for a chat bubble, like the ones you see on websites for customer service. Let's see what it generates. It's not functional, and honestly, it doesn't look good. This one is a fail. Now we're moving on to logic and reasoning questions. Here's the first one. You have eight identical looking balls, but one is slightly heavier. Using a balance scale, what's the minimum number of weigh-ins needed to find the heavier ball? So this is a pass. Next, we're asking. You have a five liter jug and a three liter jug. How can you measure exactly four liters without any additional tools? Let's see how it does. The reasoning is correct again, so this is another pass. Now for a spatial reasoning question. A coin is placed inside an open jar on a chair. Someone enters the room, turns the jar upside down, and leaves. Later, another person picks up the jar and places it right side up on a table. Where is the coin now? Let's check the model's answer. It's correct. This is another pass. Next question. We give the model a sequence of letters and ask it to identify the next one. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, it stopped probably because of the output length parameter. Let's tell it to continue.
Hmm. The answer isn't correct. The correct answer is OFN, but the model said OFI, so this one is a fail. Now we're moving on to math questions. The first question is, a store has a buy two get one free offer on t-shirts priced at $15 each. How much would you pay for seven t-shirts? The model gave the correct calculation, so this one's a pass. Next question. Lisa stays at a hotel for three nights. The room rate is $100 per night with a 5% tax on the total plus a $15 untaxed cleaning fee. What's the final cost of Lisa's stay? The model calculated everything correctly, so this is another pass. And now for the final math question, which is a bit more complicated. A cubic block of wood, 10 centimeters on each side, floats at the interface between oil and water. Its lower surface is 1.5 centimeters below the interface. The density of oil is 790 kilograms per cubic meter. What is the mass and density of the block? Unfortunately, it's incorrect. The model didn't calculate it right. The correct answer is 821.4 kilograms per cubic meter. So this is a fail. That's it for today's testing. Overall, the model performed well in many areas, though it did stumble on a few. It's definitely promising and shows how far we've come with language models. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.